Good afternoon, families. It is Friday, October 21st, 2022, and I have not been at school for a few days because I have got hurt in my back and I'm having a hard time moving. Many of you, though, know that uh, from showing up at conferences and watching just how much I, I wasn't moving around. Um, but as always, that's our Turtle Talk vlog, so we're going to get right to it. First and foremost, I seem to be missing my glasses, so perhaps I'm going to use this magic wand and see if I can figure out just where my glasses went. Let's see. One, two, three. That's not it. That's a moose hat. Okay, let's try something different. Three, two, one. Okay, those are glasses, but those are not the right glasses. All right, let's try one more time. Abracadabra. Well, that's much better. Well, we'll keep working on that, I guess. Well, let's just get started. Our top two this week are, we have a Halloween harvest party on Monday, October 31st. There'll be details below in my description, but that's fantastic and exciting. Students will get to wear some costumes to school. There's a little bit of rules about that, but we'll get to that in a second. Second top two, Scholastic Book Fair is coming to Lake Bluff and K5 is invited to go during the school day for the first time ever. This is amazing. So it's from the 1st to the 3rd of November, which is a Tuesday through Thursday. Our class is scheduled to go on, let's see, Tuesday. Uh, no, sorry, Wednesday, November 2nd from 125 to 155 in the afternoon. So pretty exciting. So there'll be more details about how to set up uh, a digital wallet if you have students and you'd like to have them be able to purchase some books. We've talked to some of the PTO volunteers. Uh, they'll have extra people there for K5 to kind of help us navigate how all this works. Very exciting though. So let's kind of get into the meat of our week. Well, our holiday Halloween harvest celebration party is Monday, October 31st. It's going to be from 2.30 to 3.25. Students may wear costumes to school, but of course, being in costume is not all it's cracked up to be. So please, if it's something, anything that's hot or uncomfortable, send extra clothes in case they get hot. We do have gym that day, so they may need to change into something a little bit more gym appropriate. And as always, the rules part. No weapons, no guns, no swords, no knives. Even if they're part of the costume, it's a school rule, so they just got to follow that. But otherwise, that's no big deal. So our, the school uh, book fair, that's pretty exciting. Um, it's always fun. We get to find cool books. I'll have a list of books for our classroom, things that um, like kind of like a classroom wish list, if those are things that you'd like to uh, help support, get new and interesting, and all sorts of great books for the classroom that I look through and select. Um, there'll be more for that coming up in this next week for our Thursday folders. Uh, moving on. Conferences have been amazing. Um, it's been great getting to just see people and be here. It's one of my favorite times of the year is get to meet and greet all of you. Um, so thank you for finding the time to sign up on the Sign of Genius link, emailing me if you had time changes or conflicts, or emailing me about needing to do a virtual Zoom conference. As always, conferences are the times where I get to sit down and talk to you about how I can better serve your student needs and show off the talents and the cool things that they are working on. As always, I will always work with you if there's a time that does not work to find something that best fits your schedule because I can't do this without you. We are a team together. Uh, let's see, uh, with that said, um, if you've missed me and we haven't had a chance to connect yet, please reach out via email. Um, I will keep sending out those reminders. I've met with almost everybody so far. Uh, it's just very vitally important that we get to sit down and talk about all the good things that are going on and things that you can do at home. Uh, hopefully you've got that information about our special home turkey project. Uh, if you were one of my Zoom conferences, uh, I will have it uh, coming home this next week. I'll probably see if I can send them home on Monday backpacks, so we'll see how that goes. Other important just kind of fun news, this last week before I was out, um, we had a special opportunity to participate in a playtesting of a brand new game that was not published. I was asked by the CEO of a company called Underdog Games to playtest a brand new board game, and I have it right here. It's called Her Story, and it's all about iconic women in history. And I was asked if we could find a way if, to help an, a game that's for eight and up to work with five-year-olds. So. I was involved a little bit in the prototyping and play testing of this game, uh, which is really cool. It was created in conjunction with teachers and 
um, across the country for selecting important iconic women throughout history. And a lot of the research and what makes each of these women famous and special um, was done by students in a school in Minnesota. Now last year I actually had the fortune to go to this school and get to meet the students who were part of the, developing the game and they're all actually featured in the game, the students are, and meet them and I got to play a prototype of the game that wasn't published yet with them to see how they like it and is it what they thought it would be. And we got to use uh, this prototype copy that um, has, was not at the time published yet. This game went live on Amazon just this week, and I'll have the link for it if you're interested in it, because it's really cool, and the students really actually enjoyed it quite a lot um, in the email. Um, I will say it is a phenomenal game. Uh, so if you like games at all, it's very enjoyable. If you like history at all, it's amazing and enjoyable, and it's about women. It was designed with women in mind, for women, and about women and people of color throughout history, things that there aren't a lot of games about. So something I'm passionate about equity and amazing things and this hits lots of those boxes and the students thought it was really cool um, and there were lots of connections like one of the students noticed on the cover uh, I said do you notice any of those faces and one of our students said oh, I know who that is that's Ruth Bader Ginsburg and I was like wow that's amazing so it was really cool that we kind of had to make those connections so um, as I said there'll be the link for uh, more information about that uh, in the email so look for that but otherwise we've had a Pretty awesome week. Conferences were wonderful. I'm still probably going to be taking some time to heal up my back uh, through this next week, probably Wednesday, um, which pains me to say because I miss being here every single day. Um, but from what I've heard from the people who've been in and supporting the class, our class has been amazing. The students have been phenomenal, which is exactly what I expect from such an amazing class. So thank you for everything that you do, and thank you for meeting me for conferences and um, getting to just talk and share some of the amazing things that are happening right here in our classroom. Um, that said, I hope you have a wonderful long weekend. I hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy the beautiful fall colors and maybe get some apples or find some delicious apple cider or something fun to do. Be safe, be happy, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.